Julie Ann and Raver are good friends and have worked together on several projects. Currently, they are hosting GMA's hit singing competition The Clash 2021, which is now on its fourth season. Julie Ann and Raver have hosted the program since its second season in 2019. The two are also part of the weekly noontime show All Out Sundays. Basta every time na makikita ko si Raver, never akong nahirapan na i-approach siya, or never akong nagkaroon ng dull moment with him kasi, ano, si Raver kalug siya eh. Masaya siyang kasama and everything else follows, Julie Ann told reporters in September. First of all, ang gun kasi talaga katrabaho ni Raver, and I never had a hard time working with him. Aside from that, we've been close talaga ever since, she explained. Raymond Oliver Cruz Illustre, was born on July 20, 1989, better known by his screen name Raver Cruz, is a Filipino actor, dancer and singer. He is the younger brother of fellow actor and dancer Rodjan Cruz. Raver is a member of the Cruz family, a noted family line in the Philippine entertainment industry. He has two older brothers, Rodjan Cruz and Omar Cruz Illustre. His father, Rodolfo L. Illustre, died in 2009 from kidney failure. He finished grade 6 in St. Mark's Institute in Las Piñas City. He graduated in 2010 with a B.S. degree in Business Administration Management, from St. Francis of Assisi College. Raver is also a cousin of Cheryl Cruz, Sunshine Cruz, Geneva Cruz and Donna Cruz. Cruz started as a former host together with his brother Rajan, in a children's magazine show 5 and up on ABC then TV5. In 1994, he moved to GMA Network and started as a child actor in the comedy show Kiss Muna, then moved to ABS-CBN in 2002, and became part of their contract talents before becoming a star magic talent. His first lead role was in the 2005 primetime TV series Spirits is Red, with actress Maha Salvador. He played another lead role as Mythos in the 2007 primetime show Runin. On June 14, 2018, he left Star Magic, but he remained in Bagani, his final project at ABS-CBN after 18 years, he returned to GMA Network his home network, and signed a contract on September 6, 2018. Julie Ann Peña Florida San Jose, born May 17, 1994, is a Filipino singer, songwriter, musician, recording artist, actress, host, endorser and television personality. She is the youngest recipient of the Diamond Record Award from the Philippine Association, of the record industry for her album Julie Ann San Jose, which sold more than 150,000 copies in the Philippines. Her second album, Deeper, yielded a triple platinum award for exceeding 45,000 sales in the Philippines. Julie Ann Peña Florida San Jose was born on May 17, 1994 in Quezon City, Philippines, to Jonathan Roque San Jose, a computer operator, and Maravik Camzan Peña Florida, an instructor. She is the eldest among her two siblings, Joanna Marie and Jan Christine San Jose. At two and a half years old, San Jose sang Donna Cruz's version of, Ha Bang Me Boo Hey. Her mother enrolled her at the Center for Pop Music when she turned three. In the same year, she was cast on the children's show. In 1998, San Jose competed in Eat Bulega's Little Miss Philippines, where she ended as first runner-up. She also competed in Magangdang Tang Hali Bayan's Munting Miss You and was third runner-up. She then appeared in a TV advertisement with Sharon Cunetta. San Jose did not pursue show business until 2005, when she joined Popstar Kids, a singing competition on QTV 11, then GMA News TV, now GTV 27, hosted by R&B singer-songwriter Kyla. Although San Jose did not win the grand prize, she joined Sugar Pop, the show's spin-off child singing group composed of her co-finalists Rita de Guzman, then known as Rita Iringan, Picholo Bismont, Renzo Almario, and Vanessa Rangithal. Sugar Pop released two studio albums, Sugar Pop and Sugar Pop Repackage. The group had a show on QTV 11 titled Planet Q, where a young San Jose and her groupmates showcased their hosting abilities. Sugar Pop also performed weekly on the GMA 7's variety show, SOP She did various soundtracks for Capuso Teleseris and shows including two for Marion Rivera's Gisbel, Aking Mundo, and, Shana, Na Kaya.
In December 2008, she sang the GMA Christmas Station ID, a witting puso, composed by Simon Peter Tan. In 2008, San Jose made her acting debut on GMA Network's afternoon soap opera, Gano Kadalas and Minsan, where she played a supporting character to Camille Pratz and Marvin Agustin. When SOP ended in 2010, San Jose joined its replacement show, Party Pilipinas, as a solo artist. As she evolved as a performer, she began to showcase her singing, dancing, and acting abilities on stage. San Jose was also paired with a then-budding artist and rapper, Elmo Magalona. Collectively, they were known as the musical tandem Julielmo. In Party Pilipinas, Julielmo starred in five short films, The Red Mask Trilogy and Yellow Note 1 and 2 and the short musicals Blue Jeans, the musical 2011 Elmo and Julianne, A Wazik Love Story 2012, and Status, It's Complicated 2013. San Jose's career took a major leap when she joined GMA 7's Party Pilipinas. Her YouTube video rendition of Nicki Minaj's, Super Bass, became popular. Soon, San Jose was one of the most promising and popular young singers in the Capuso block. She was included in the, Top 10 Women to Watch, list by the Women Leaders Center in collaboration with Arc Media Global. She also made the list of, New Breed of Stars to Watch Out for in 2012. In 2011, San Jose was chosen as the front act for David Archuleta's major concert at the Araneta Coliseum. Archuleta revealed in an interview that it was his personal choice to have Julianne San Jose as the front act for his concert. In February 2012, San Jose signed an exclusive recording contract with GMA Records. Six months later, she released her eponymous debut album, Julianne San Jose, which received numerous awards and is now a certified Diamond Record awardee. Her single, I'll Be There, remains the only single certified quadruple platinum by the Philippine Association of the Record Industry. In May 2018, Julianne San Jose starred in a daytime musical series My Guitar Princess, where she plays the main character, Selena Raimundo, aka the, Guitar Princess, along leading stars Gil Cuerva and Kiko Estrada. The show features original soundtrack. In January 2019, Julianne bagged two awards at Wish Music Awards 2019, and renewed her contract with Universal Records. Her rendition of, Your Song, hit 7 million streams on Spotify. In February 2019, San Jose spent Valentine's Day on Gloria de Dapitan's, Lyrics of Love, a Valentine concert and comedy night with Julie Ann San Jose. She also released new single Melita, a collaboration with GLAC9 and hit number one on two charts of iTunes Philippines, namely all genre songs and hip-hop rap. In March 2019, after the successful debut of Melita, San Jose shot a music video for the song. Julianne received a Favorite Album Award for Breakthrough at the first Inside Showbiz Awards. She also performed at the anticipated Castaway Music Festival in SM City Rosales. In April 2019, Julie released her newest composition, Regrets. The emotional song is a reflection of her experiences in the past year. Minutes after its release, the single reached the top spot on the iTunes Philippines All Genre and Pop Charts, continuing her streak of number one hit singles. In May 2019, Artist Center announced Julie Ann as the Artist of the Month of May, who took the center stage in a series of digital features to celebrate her birthday. After a successful series of Studio 7 Musicali concerts across Manila and an unforgettable Capuso concert in Dagupan, San Jose joined a Studio 7 musical variety show. Studio 7 and GMA Pinoy TV brought the show to Brooklyn, New York City for Kapusong Pinoy Studio 7 Musicali Saw Brooklyn. In 2019, Julie Ann San Jose embraced womanhood as the pep main attraction July Covergirl. Julie Ann San Jose then played a sold-out, Julie Sings the Divas, concert. Julie Ann is one of organization Nong Pilipinong Manga Awit's OPM active junior ambassadors. Her job as a junior ambassador is to represent and promote Filipino music. San Jose is also a celebrity advocate of World Vision, an international child-focused non-government organization which mainly promotes children's rights, well-being and education. In 2020, she was named one of the newest ambassadors for music by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts or NCCA. 
she was awarded a plaque of recognition to solidify her role.